Hey, what's going on YouTubers? It's Mark Methods. Today we're going to be installing SPC lower control arms on the rear of my car. When you go out drifting, you want to have between zero and negative one degrees of camber in the rear. Currently my car, after I lowered it, uh, the camber went to negative two and a half degrees. So I need to adjust that with some SPC lower control arms. This will give me about two degrees of adjustment. So I should at the end of this have negative half a degree in the rear which will be great. It's Mark from the future. So when I corrected the negative two degrees of camber or the 2.5 degrees and put a two degrees of positive camber on, um, the factory toe arm isn't able to adjust that far. So I'm sitting at a full adjustment. My total toe is 0.83 degrees toe out. Now you want at least like 0 0.15, 0 0.16 toe in. You want a little bit in. Um, so get adjustable toe arms. I'm gonna be doing a video after this on this. So let's keep going with this, uh, the install of the lower control arms. All right, let's get to it. All right, so inside the box, you're gonna find your lower control arm. Nice SPC sticker, some basic instructions. All right, so I was using this as a visual aid. What I have here is the cup bolt that's included, and I have the toe adjuster that you can press into your factory rear toe arm. Now this is slotted, and what it does is it allows you to increase or decrease the camber depending on how much you turn the bolt. The toe adjuster that I have mounted in the center is not how this is installed. That's actually meant to be pressed into the factory rear toe arm and also the plates on the sides are supposed to be turned in so you don't see the writing. If you pull it back, you'll get more negative camber and if you push it forward, you'll get give you positive camber and it will correct up to two degrees of negative or positive camber. Still an excellent value for what you're getting though. Well worth it. This is too deep in the tire, and I'm going to actually have to remove the rim. So I'll have to jack this up and get it up in the air. Perfect. In order to remove the OEM lower control arm, I do have a couple things that aren't OEM, like the white line sway bar and end links. And I, so basically, this would normally be a 14 millimeter bolt. These are 17, 17, and 17. So you just need a 17 millimeter open end ratchet and uh, socket. So now after you've taken these off, you're just gonna wanna hit these in and release the force on these. After we push these out, we can begin removing them with our hands. Try to keep them together.
install these, you want the stamped markings to be facing in because there is a beveled edge to the side of this and it makes it rotate a little bit easier and lock in better when you have it set up like this. I think it'll work the other way, but the diagram doesn't show the writing on it, so. So I'm gonna start with the inner control arm and work my way out. Just finger tight this stuff up. we're going to apply some force underneath with a jack. So now the car is suspended under its own weight. Now we're going to torque this hole down. All right, so the inner lower control arm is going to be 59 foot pounds. All right, so the strut is also 59 foot pounds, so we're going to do that too. The sway bar end link is 28 foot pounds. This last one is going to be 55 foot pounds. This is a 19 millimeter. Right now I have it set to negative camber. If we want to go to positive camber, we need to move it on to the inside. We just rotate this around. And you can see it pulling the hub in. And there we go. This should give us the maximum amount of positive camber that can be produced. Then we're going to torque it to 55 foot pounds. Now this entire side has been torqued up and is ready to go. Just repeat the process on the other side of your car and that's it. Now don't forget guys, after you make any changes to your suspension, verify your alignment. I definitely need rear adjustable toe arms. So make sure that you have those on hand just in case you need them. Otherwise your car might be down for however long it takes you to get a set. All right. So I wanna thank you guys for stopping by. Um, if you, the video was informative, it helped you out. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, if something was wrong, let me know. All right, so I'm gonna see you guys in the next one.